Our top story tonight takes us to last week's town council meeting, where councillors discussed a draft of a new town council presiding philosophy document. This appears to be an evolution of a document that leaked earlier this year and prompted a noticeable response from the public. After further edits to the draft, Council President Felicia Penn brought the document to the Council to discuss and approve the new philosophy. However, not everyone fully grasped the purpose of the document. This, this, is, an, this is an opinion, it's a philosophy, I get it. But again, to me, it's, it's like a mission statement. We, are we following the tenets of our strategic plan or are we trying to layer something over it? I hope I'm making that clear, and that's, that's where I'm uncomfortable with, with this. Um, the, the, this has nothing to do with the strategic plan. Our strategic plan, from what I understand, is the plan that drives the town. That's the base plan that it's drives... It's a plan. This is a philosophy. There's two different things. I understand what you're saying, <laughs> Madam President. They can coexist nicely together. They can, and they can create disasters as well. So, uh, you know, philosophy, again, philosophy is... Well, how the did ether. the old philosophy work? Did that, did that create a disaster with any strategic plan that the past town councils a did? Absolutely. What is, did? what is grounded in balance and equity? What does that mean? That's like flowery words that have no... I mean, balance and equity. I don't know what it means. Is it equity of race, equity of means, equity of life standard, equity of... I, well, you're not managing this, so you're lucky you're off the hook. Thank you. Well, you don't have to interpret what it means. Th those are my comments. I, I appreciate it. I'm going to take a further step from Councilor Neary's comments and wonder if it really is the business of the council to create a philosophy. And we are all elected. I saw that face President Penn, I hope which so. did not appear to be very respectful of my comments. I'm listening. Thank you. I respect everyone's philosophy on this dais, and I know that some of you have a different philosophy on certain issues than I would, and even to the extent of how I define balance and equity. I can't imagine that we as 13 members can come up with a collective philosophy that we would then hand over to our town manager. You know, I didn't have to bring it to the town council, but out of respect for you, I did. I could have just handed this to the town manager like every other town council leader has done, except for they didn't put it in writing. And I could have just sat down with them and said, hey, you know what? New sheriff in town, this is the way it's going to be now. But I didn't do that. This, this talks about ways to engage our public. That's, that's, that's pretty, right. That's pretty focused. It does, doesn't it? All of the public. We already do that. It's already in our communication plan. I disagree. So the, the one, Could you please give an example of the issues where you don't think that the public is fully engaged? Equally engaged? Yes, I mean, it, I can I'm not even, saying I, the public isn't fully engaged. I'm saying equally engaged. That's what's the word equity and balance. Could, I, could, could we have an example of where the public has not been equally engaged on, on an issue or something? So we have a reference I really point. don't want to go there. I'll be happy to talk to you personally about it. I don't want to do this in the public because you know what? People are going to get defensive of previous um, leadership. This is not... Uh, to spear any previous leadership. It's not to do that. It's to create change and to move forward, and I really don't want to take the bait. If you don't know, I would be happy to explain it to you, but it's very obvious to me. And it's obvious to Mr. Tamish, and it's been obvious to several others. So that's all I can tell you. You must have been missing something. What we're talking about here is that many of these are not actionable. They're thoughts, but they are not actionable unless we actually address them. They are thoughts. You're absolutely right. They're not actionable because it's not a plan. Because they're thoughts that direct action, that direct plans. It's not actionable in and of itself. It's, it's, it's a thought process. You're absolutely right. And this, yeah, it's words. It doesn't harm anybody. It just makes us better. All those in favor of approving the document as, as amended, it passes. Thank you all.